Oh, go on. Beep your horn, mate, just because I've gone live on Facebook. Good work. On a positive note, he just didn't sit out the front and do that. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. Oh, he's still, be he's still beeping. Hello, everyone. Sorry about that. Oh, now they're all beeping. Are you boys right? All right, and they're all smiling as they're driving away. So it's knock-off time. It's knock-off time here in the street. How funny. Ah, oh, dearie me. Anyway. No, Louise, you can't get you, you don't get to go home yet, babe. It's not knock-off time in uh, that, in this little office. Hello, everyone. Hello, Delphina, my love. How's my favourite girl today? I say that because you're the only one that's commented so far, so that does make you a favourite. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> good afternoon to those of you tuning in for the first time. Oh, hello, Robin. How's isolation treating you, babe? Oh, we need to talk to you too, all right? I'll just... Ring just us after. Ring us after. Ring, ring Louise after. Robin Owen. Um, okay, ladies. It is, and gentlemen, and other, it is Saturday afternoon and we thought that it's time to do another live Facebook using my brand spanking new collage papers and I'm going to be using some stamps, some stencils and some paints and make an easy painty mess here. So, for those of you tuning in for the first time, welcome, welcome. My name is Natalie May, and I am extremely good at waffling on and winging it here live on Facebook, just making it all happen, making a creative mess. Um, and today is a Saturday, and we have got 15% off of stamps, stencils, and dyes on the website. So, that means that you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au and the discounts will automatically go through at the checkout. Uh, the, there's some amazing other things on special as well, including Art by Marlene products at 15% off all weekend. Uh, and the only thing today in uh, that, that's not on special, the Natalie May scrapbooking branded products, which are... The, the stamps and stencils, uh, they are not discounted, okay? So uh, oh, we already give those to you at the best possible price that we can. So there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do a uh, blah, 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 single art journal page. So this is my Dilusions art journal and it is, um, it's got one of the canvas covers on it. You can buy these online and you can actually sign up to do the class to learn how to do these. You'll find that under classes. Um, and this is, I'm just doing a single page here. I've got a double play page open, but um, I will just leave that there for now. And what I wanna do is, I've, I've given it a, a light coat of gesso just to give it a, just to seal it a little uh, so the paint that I put on is not going to go all the way through and the uh, and it gives me a nice surface to work on as well. Now I'm using my new collage papers which arrived yesterday. This one here is called the Bold Scribble and that's exactly what it is. And I'm using some gel medium to stick this on. So gel medium is a, oh hello Michelle Logan, hello darling. Um, gel Medium is the adhesive that I am using. Oh shoot. And it is going to stick down these really, really nicely. So I'm just putting a few strips on like so. And as you can see, the, the bold scribble is exactly that. These are hand drawn images that I have done, um, I've created things that I found were a little lacking in the market for what I like to use. Did that radio turn back on again? 
We've got a ghost. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I have got a loose idea about what I'm going to do today. I'm inspired by the super, super uber talented Lisa Oxley, who is a Australian creative. And I'm gonna create in a, a Lisa Oxley style fashion, which is using something that she does really, really well, which is using lots and lots of color. Um, so, and you'll know what I mean. I just kind of figured this afternoon I needed to not overthink it and um, get some nice bright color onto my page. So using gel medium and a palette knife has enabled it to dry super quick and it's, you know, swiping it on and then kind of swiping it off means that So I'm just reading the comments here. You having the internet keeps dropping in and out, does it? Let's have a quick look. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to get Louise to um, have a look on her screen here to make sure that's all good. Um, okay, so the using the catalyst tool to put on my rice my collage paper means that it goes on super thin and I don't put too much on and that's really really important all right the paints that I'm going to be using I'm going to be using some art by Marlene paints and I'm going to put a few colors spots around the page and I'm going to paint over the top so I'm starting with yellow which is my lightest color and I'm just going to go super streaky and, and get the colour on like that. I'm not putting too much paint. I'm just going to swipe it on and it's drying pretty much as I wipe it on, actually. And because I'm putting on such a thin amount, what's happening is that it, I'm still seeing my collage papers come through. And I'm going to have some, there we go, just take off any of my brush. And I'm keeping my strokes backwards and forwards like this. Bit of layering. Oh, maybe it's just, maybe it's not my internet for a change. It's all good there? All right. So if you look up the super talented Lisa, Lisa Oxley is an Australian... Um, artist creative such as my, like like myself who's, who's been in this um, industry here in Adelaide oh, here in Adelaide in Australia for a very long time and has a very awesome unique style so I'm taking her wonderful unique style of color and I'm just going to channel some of my inner Lisa today little purple yes I'm warming to purple purple is a much stronger color so just wiping it with my fingers and I am going to be adding a little uh, I'm going to be adding some blues but you can see that starting with uh, starting with yellow and working up from there and I haven't actually cleaned my brush off yet because all the colors that I'm working with work together quite nicely blue, bit of blue, bit of blue. Channeling that rainbow. There we go. Do I want green? Yeah, why not? So you can still see my collage paper coming in underneath. And that's an excessive amount of green. So I'm taking it off on my brush there.
and I'm very, very lightly touching my paper. And now I'm gonna rinse my brush because I'm going to go in with some Mermaid, which is this color here, which is this lovely aqua blue and put in some, oh, it's blocked. So what I was saying yesterday when I was doing these lives, I love these um, easy applicators for the Art by Marlene paints. Because they've got this super thin nozzle, it's handy to have like a, a nappy pin or a thick, a thick pin handy to unblock your paints, okay? So my paint brush is dry. And just lightly swiping those colors over the top. So I'm getting a nice little base of, of color down and then I'm gonna get in in a moment and pop some stenciling on. And I'm gonna be popping on some stamping and I'm going to then turn this into my own project. Like I said, inspired by others, turned into my own. That is what works. All right, I'm gonna dry that off. So that, because I haven't used a whole lot of paint, hasn't taken very long to dry at all. Uh, I thought now I might start with adding, I'm gonna add a little white. And I'm gonna add some white with a blending tool. So I can still see my collage paper in the background. Now you could use gesso for this, but I'm using a blending tool and a clean sponge because that's a novelty, and my All The Dots stencil, and just adding a little bit around the place to tone back a few little areas. And I don't want a solid white, I want a, a loose white. Now, where you put on too much white, like I just did then, I can rub it back with my fingers. I could rub it back with a baby wipe. There's lots of ways that I can rub it back to make it work, okay? So my dots are kind of working around my page in quite a, a light sort of fashion, just like so. What is next? Uh, I might create myself, a, a, I have created myself a focal point with an art journal page. Art journal pages are, there's lots of different ways of course that you can put an art journal page together. What works for me is creating a background, building a background and building, uh, adding collage elements and stamping and stenciling and having a focal point. So a focal point is something where your eyes go to and something that you, you want to start building it like a scrapbook page. So I have got, I've stamped an image here from the Art by Marlene Sending You Love stamp set, which looks like that. And that is going to be my focal image. So she's going to sit there uh, and I will paint her, but not just yet. And I have also used some die cuts from the Out of This World die cut collection. This is the Border Patrol. And I'm going to add these on the page so that she's not, you know, so she's sitting on something. Uh, so I'll be adding those on in a moment as well. Uh, but first of all, I'm gonna keep her there and I'm gonna think about adding on some stamping in my background and adding some elements, um, some other elements around the page as well. Let's see what stamps I've got out. So 
Scrap FX do these incredible foam stamps. There's a huge, huge range of them and they are exactly that. They are foam that you can use on your projects. So I have got here some of the, I've got an um, XOXO stamp. Um, I hopefully you're not getting too much glare on that one. Uh, and you can cut it up. Doesn't, you don't have to use it as a whole piece. Um, I have got here some words. This is house and home stamp. So these are lovely scripty sort of words. I think that one might be really nice on the page. I've also pulled out the pensive woman stamp. Now I showed this one in the live this morning. So, and it's just a foam stamp that you can stamp into paint or your ink pad and use. Um, I use this one a lot. This is the number set stamps. Uh, but what I do with this one is I've cut it up. All right, so I cut it up and use. So if I decide today that I want to use it with paint, what color paint? Let's go with some hot pink, no, purple. Let's go for pink and purple. So I've got a nice flat surface here. And what I will do is I'll use my palette knife to spread out some paint and then I can stamp into it, transfer the paint onto here and put it straight onto my page. And it gives a really awesome finish. And you could, these work beautifully with Distress Oxides and really very cool with uh, Black Archival ink as well. So all I do to clean it off is I'll wipe it down with a baby wipe. Now, if you get a bit rough with them, the numbers can slide off, okay? Just dab it off, I've just mutilated that. Um, but you can, and my, like, to give you a bit of an idea, my other number set, the six has fallen off. That's because I let it go too long in the running it under hot water. So a baby wipe would have been just fine. All right, so you can see how quickly, um, how easily I can get those prints on there. Um, I'm also gonna be adding on, I've got, oh, I was gonna use that script one, wasn't I? What did I do with that? Here we go. So this is the house and home set. And I think this time I will go in with, I've got a gray ink here. A gray archival ink. Now I don't necessarily want to read this as words. I want it to be Oh, I like it. Just a script in the background. Pretty happy with that. Let me bring it up to camera to show you. Um, okay, I'm just grabbing a washi tape. Sorry, I just realised I wanted to get a black washi tape. Um, radio. So I've, like most of you, I've been collecting washi tapes. So I've got a couple of different black washi tapes here. Um, Louise, yeah. give me a moment, please. What do you need? 
Beautiful, thank you. Um, alrighty, so I'm now, this is all completely dry. I know that that's going to go there. I could add some of this lovely leafy seaweedy. Yeah, actually, that's going to be great. That's a really good idea. Uh, and then I'm going to add some... Might add some more stamps in a moment. So I'm just going to use that like so. Yeah, okay, that works. Beautiful. Oh, that's a little darker than I would have liked, so we'll tone that down in a moment. Okay, and you'll notice I haven't even re-inked it. Just the ink sitting on that is, is just going to come straight off onto my hand. I'm just going to use a piece of paper towel now just to clean off any excess. All right, so this bit here where it's a little bit too dark, how do I fix that? Since I have nailed it today in trying to fix mistakes live on Facebook, let me show you how to fix it. So I am gonna go back over here with my stencil and tone it back using some white paint again, okay? There's no reason why I can't do that. And then it pushes it to the background and keeps the, whoops, keeps the white spot in the foreground, which is what I was after. That works for me. Righty-o. Something else I want to do is I might add a few more leaves. I know that my image here is going to sit there and I've got some bits hanging down. This is my hand-drawn leaves and that's exactly what they are. They are my hand-drawn leaves. So, I'm going to take, I want to keep with the, with the large loops, I like the loops, so I might just go with these, I'm just going to put that on a little block, a little baby block. Stamping on there, stamping on there. I'm gonna pop a few down the bottom. And I'm gonna pop a few up here as well. Overlapping is fine. That works for me. All right. Put things away, Natalie, just for the novelty factor. So that's going to go there. So she's kind of sitting in a little bit of seaweed. What else have we got? What else did I get out to play with? I'm going to put some black washi tape on. So this is one of the All and Create washi tapes, but I don't want to use it for the words that it says. I'm going to strip it down to skinny bits. And put around my page. You can use any sort of printed washi tape. You could use anything at all because it's your page, not mine. This is just some ideas for you. Oh, sticky, sticky. Coming together quite nicely. And tear off that excess washi. Use that. All 
All right. Looking good. Okay, so I also have here these die cuts. So like I was saying before, this is the Border Patrol die cuts from the Out of This World collection. Um, it also does this lovely little number, which I just, I thought it's nice, but I'm a bit loopy. I was going for a loopy sort of effect here. So I'm going to keep that feel to it. And I'm going to glue this down. Because I want my, my stamped lady to be anchored. She needs to be sitting on something. She, uh, so I'm just using some glue. You could use any adhesive. You could even have used some double-sided tape to run through your cutting machine on some with some card so that you don't have to go through this process, which is tedious. And I wish I had done that before. And I'm going to stand up so I do it straight. <laughs> so I can still see my, my bold print in the background, which is creating a really awesome shadow effect. I really, really like... Yeah, she, she's going to sit there. I really, really like that this finish is going to go... Um, you know, it's got that depth to it. I'm going to cut this guy up. Don't need all of it. I'm going to pop that up there. Pop a little bit of glue down. So stamps and stencils and dies, including the items that I'm currently using, are 15% off for today only. Uh, on nataliemay.com.au Postage is only twelve fifty, and you can add to your order over the weekend by selecting no judgment at your second or subsequent orders. Stuck down there, stuck down there, stuck down there. And I really do need to pop something down the bottom here. Where's that offcut gone? Here. So this time I'm going to trim this back. Because I have the power. And I'm going to pop that up that way. How's everybody's day going where you are in the world? It is a lovely afternoon here in Adelaide, just looking out the windows, not that we're seeing much of it. The lovely Clever Trevor just brought us some lunch in, which was nice, and joined us for lunch. Dun, 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 dun. I need a little bit more washi tape down there because I've put it on crooked. And because I've put it on crooked, I need to take the focus away from it by adding that little black strip to it. So for those of you just tuning in, welcome. Um, there is... I'm channeling my inner Lisa Oxley, a very awesome creative Australian lady, and using some swipe of colours. Because inspiration comes from everywhere. Okay, happy with that. Works for me. I need to now pop her on the page and give her some colour. So, like I was saying before, this image I stamped and cut out earlier. And that is from the Sending You Love stamp set from Art by Marlene. And it's actually got some of these other little images on here that I'm thinking I'm going to use. But I can't get off the... Oh, here we go. These lovely little starlet thingies. 
Um, and I might use a coloured ink. So I've got my Art by Marley, uh, sorry, my Catherine Pooler inks here. And I'm thinking, I've got pink, I've got grey, maybe I need a little teal, a little blue. Oh, no, I don't. I know what colour I need. I need some orange. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Now, I know it's not showing up on camera very well. I will bring it up in a moment so you can see how cute these look. I know we all forget to, uh, that we can stamp in colour. I know, because it's obvious, but we quite often do forget. So there's that colour, and I'm going to pop another colour over the top. Probably go for, let's have a look at that colour. That might be a bit much. That might be a little better. Little layering. Oh, so pretty. Get that one. This one. I love me a good investment set of inks. Oh my gosh, yes. So important to have a good set of coloured inks that you can just grab. And, and stamp with in your journal and be able to use for any sort of process. I'm just going to pop the lid back on this and bring it up to show you. You see that stamping there? Up there. Down here so that pink and that orange ties in with everything else okay right and then it hits the floor excellent it can stay there right let's stick her on or maybe I'll color her first stick stick first color later and I'm just gonna use some glue Very warm and sunny, su very warm and sunny in Sydney, Susan says. Inside crafting. Oh, well, that's the best place to be. Um, while I'm gluing this, so for those of you who are in the Natalie May, scrap cra Natalie May Scrapbooking Crafting Community, the lovely Facebook group, you know you still have a couple of days to enter our monthly competition. So for those of you who don't know about it, what we do is we have a monthly competition. This month, there is a mood board for you to be inspired by. So, why is that not sticking? So we have got a, a mood board, which is a, a color challenge and a design challenge. So a lovely simple layout for you to refer to. And if you upload a photo in the month of January of your finished project, it could be a scrapbook layout, it could be an art journal page, it could be a card, could be a canvas, uh, you can go in the chance to win a $25 voucher to nataliemay.com.au for you to spend online. And that, do you, do you think I just put paint down as a, I did. No wonder it's not sticking. Oh, seriously. That's because the paint was next to the glue. Oh, anyone would think I haven't done this before. Paint. Glue. I was wondering why it wasn't sticking. Did I use glue for the rest? 
Ja, zie het. Idiots. All right. That was pretty funny. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that some pressure. And I'm gonna use a, what can I color it in with? I can color it in with absolutely anything. I'm, I am gonna use some paint and a thin paintbrush. Uh, I'm not going to overthink it because, you know, that's a talent we've all got. So I've just got a thin paintbrush and I'm just popping it in a little bit of water and thinning it down just a fraction so that it doesn't take forever to dry. And I'm just going to zoom up while I do this. So if you get seasick, look away. There we go. That's a bit better. And I've got, where's my bit of cardboard? So this is my little tester, just so I can see that the color is gonna be okay. And I'm gonna come in here. You can see how wobbly my hand is, up this close. So yes, if you are not part of the Natalie May crafting community, just head over and hit the request to join button and we will approve your membership um, at our earliest convenience. But the opportunity for you to win a prize is always there. I have decided what the challenge is going to be for February. Haven't announced it yet. But that's okay. All right, there we go. And I want to give her a bit of colour in the boobs. Yellow bikini top. So a little bit of yellow off on the side here. And I've got, I know it's off screen, but a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange. Give her a two-tone bikini, I reckon. Alison Bevis, how are you my love? How's sunny Queensland going? Now this is not a watercolour paper that I'm stamping on. This is just the paper that I normally make cards out of. It's just a flat, really nice, 250 300 gsm cardstock and it is really really nice to use for this purpose i've got some azure 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 a z u r e i can never say that uh, and some mermaid to color her tail Azure, 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 Azure. I don't know. And I'm mixing a colour here together, a little bit of light, a little bit of dark. Yep, that works for me. And I could colour in all of the petals, petals, scales individually. But no one's got time for that. The fact that I stamped it and cut it out before going online is nothing short of a miracle. So we're not going to go through that whole process of yeah I like that colouring that and then I need to do her tail a little bit of pink in that tail too hey so all of the art by Marlene products are on special this weekend at 15% off. So that does include Art by Marlene journals, that does include the paints, that does include 
their collage paper books. It includes her stamps, it includes the dies, it includes a um, stencil, it includes heaps of stuff actually, it's really cool. I'm not going to do, oh, see I wasn't going to do that. Right, and stop. Um, I'm not going to do her hair. I'm not going to, or maybe I'm going to do her hair. I'm not going to do her hair. I'm not going to do her skin because there's a fairly good chance I will mess that up. So I'm just going to leave it for now. Wipe a little of that off. And that works. I like it. Okay, just needs a big fat word on it um, and a little bit of doodling and I am loving it. So I could use anything for my title. Uh, I've decided I'm going to pull out a white paint pen. And just do a few little spots around on the dark areas and I'm actually connecting them to where my my stamping is okay and you can use whatever white pen works for you I am a lover of the Pintor paint pens they work really well for me um, I know that the Pintor paint pens are like I said my favorite to use I just think that they they work a treat. And a few down the bottom here that I know that are out of screen, but I will zoom out in a moment. All right, what word do we need? Needs like a big mermaid word, perhaps. How about we go with... this so with my with some of my stamp sets I like to do some of the um, some phrases so this set here which is the we all make choices stamp set uh, one that I've designed these are some of the lovely phrases that I like to use and include in my art journaling on a regular basis kind words cost nothing we all make choices keep life simple live more worry less be in love with your life Old ways won't open new doors. Trust the timing of your life and change your thoughts and you'll change the world. There you go. Some thoughts for today. So I've taken one of the words here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some layered stamping around the place. So you'll see how I've just done that three or four times. And what has happened, and I'll bring it up to camera in a moment, is it will it does this really interesting off off stamping so it gives it a really good amount of depth in one area and then it is a layered up shadowed effect in others okay and although you can't see it on screen because I haven't zoomed up yet I will get to that I will zoom up in a second and show you Let's bring it up, but let's show you. See how it's done that? I love that. I love that. Where else did I do it? One more up the top there. So there you go. All right. Ladies, if you get um, seasick, look away. I'm going to zoom out, maybe. That's in, that's out. That's the wrong way. All right, come on, you wretched thing. No, it won't let me do it. Oh, there we go. Okay, happy with that. Happy with that little art journal page. Uh, so for those of you who are just tuning in, I'll quickly talk you through the steps. We have got an art journal page here with a white gesso background. Uh, I have channeled my 
my local superhero of, of colour, Lisa Oxley, and created a whole heap of colour. We've used my new bold scribble in the background, which has given, given it some really great depth. We collaged that on, and then we added some stamping and some stenciling in the background as well, which is a really, really important layer. We used the foam stamps from Scrap FX on our page as well. Um, so that's what we're seeing here. We have used them with paint here. So we've used them with paint, we've used them with black archival ink, we've used them with grey archival ink. We've used the Art by Marlene stamps in coloured ink in parts around the page. And this is a die cut by Art by Marlene. My focal point is a stamped image that we just added a little colour to, and I am going to have to colour her hair. Um, we I'll do that. I'm going to go for a really, really light shade of yellow. Um, so there's there's plenty of of uh, easy fun techniques here that you can transfer into your own art journal page. All of the products that I have used uh, before I started the live Facebook were available online. Don't forget to have a look in, scroll down and have a look in the demo section to, and you'll find something, perhaps you might find something there that I've used in a demonstration that's only been used once. Maybe, baby. I am super happy with that. Um, that's added a lovely amount of colour to my day. Um, I hope it's added some colour to your day as well. Thank you very much for tuning in. And don't forget, you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au and um, grab all of those items there. Join the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. Um, and if you want to re-watch this and watch it back, it'll be uploaded to YouTube this afternoon. Thanks, guys. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask. Chat to you soon. Bye.